uh, all of today. Um, in the meantime, on the flip side, we are getting and the flip so side on the monkey flip side. Uh, on, on that monkey flip side, there <laughs> is that uh, there is Slingshot, who's been also on a tear of his own recently. And these two trappers are going to have to go right at it. Banana against the smorgasbord of items that Duck Hunt has available. Who is going to come out on top? What are you thinking? Like just matchup wise or like player wise? Oh, okay. So Zane, amazing uh, player, classic Xeno player. Um, they know exactly what they're doing. Um, honestly, I remember their duck hunt being so like new and so wacky that you know now that they're an established duck hunt player, I like I feel like I've missed out on a whole arc. Because in my last recollection of Zane, they just picked up duck hunt and slingshot. Um, you know, I haven't been to Xeno in a while, I haven't been in a while, but I've seen Slingshot do amazing, amazing at Xeno just yeah. the past couple of weeks. Yeah, it feels like the fruits of learning a new character really starting to pay off for them, you know, getting wins on many players such as Vivi, who we just saw last week, getting second up to a second place finish, trying to get yet more upsets here as the game keeps on progressing very even. Amazing Z drop there. Not going to close out the stock, but when you're able to do 30% in the blink for nine, you're not feeling too bad. Mm -hmm. Definitely going to be a heavy um, item game. They're going to be throwing a lot of things. Things are going to get caught. Things are going to explode. Duck Hunt's going to get a banana. Um, slingshot, slingshot's going to get the can or get hit by the can, get something by the can. So that's something that both of them have to be careful of, what they're picking up. And, you know, just the things are hitting. What I feel like this, and so as we unfold here, uh, one of the things that we'll see uh, player, uh, excuse me, uh, Diddy Kong players like tweak really stout is that Diddy Kong has amazing matchup spread if you look at the top like 20, 25 characters. Mm -hmm. But once you get to a lot of the full roster and you get all 80, Diddy Kong loses to some weirdos. And Duck Hunt is one of those that many players uh, consider up there with, as terrible for Diddy Kong on the same likes as Pac-Man. And you can start to see why here. Just Zane is able to live forever with good DI. You're forcing lingering aerials to be the only things you're hit by. Can and Gunman and uh, the Clay Pigeon all interrupt Banana Toss so effectively. Yeah, and, and again, you rough. see it like in the flesh right here. Just what can Slingshot do? They had Zane at a great position. Just pushing them off the stage, um, edge guarding them, but they just couldn't get some sort of kill out of it. But now um, stocks even up. Yeah. Stocks are even, but the tempo is entirely on the side of Zane. Like when you're dealing with percentages as even as this, and how, as a tempo that Zane has been playing, they're in control of the game more often than they are not. You see Slingshot, they'll get their damage in, and it'll, that'll all be fine. But stage and positioning, you're forcing Slingshot to get off of the spot and into these awkward banana tosses that they normally wouldn't like to take. But when you're putting anybody on ledge, that's where you have to thrive as Diddy Kong. But just too much going at him as Zane finds a grab out of the corner. Frisbee trying to go for something but not getting anything. We see so many instances in this game of just Slingshot pushing Zane out but not getting anything. Ah, just as I was about to say, he saw Slingshot go bunky. He was so excited, he jumped out of his seat. Yeah, really popping off for that opening and not gonna let it slip by. When you see Zane. <laughs> slip. Oh, not gonna let that one go by the wayside either as Zane finds the clay pigeon into the back air. Duck Hunt's natively going to take a little bit more time to set up. So Slingshot's doing an amazing job of forcing these scramble scenarios and not only forcing the scenarios, but forcing Zane to respond to it. It's been really well played on the, on the part of Slingshot when the matchup that generally is seen is not all that good for Diddy Kong. Oh, wow. Did you see the can hit? Oh, wow. That's like things you really got to look out for. Some things that we mentioned earlier on in the game with projectiles and items attacking one another. And honestly, when it comes to like this matchup, we see Zayn really try to push for the ledge because that's where Zayn really thrived in the first couple uh, moments of the game before like Slingshot got and managed to get um, a kill from the edge. Oh, almost catching the jump. That could have been a huge jungle scenario for Zayn. A Diddy call without the banana in the center stage like that. See if they find another one. I'm still, still trying to control just about everything, but Zane continuously retreating to the corner, which is allowing Slingshot just to put on that extra mobility. 
and oh, frustrate, uh, frustrate Sunshot, uh, frustrate themselves even more, more often than not. Oh, that was I, 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 oh, so close. Slingshot kind of think a little bit too far about it. Instead of going for the usual, trying to like maybe mix up their options when you know the usual was would have gone for it. Now it's super tight. They're both throwing their things. They don't know. Ah! Oh my! Zane gets away with that banana. Uh, that banana toss. Things are getting more and more dangerous. Just true combos. Banana into dash attack yet again. And the and, can. Oh That's man! Ooh, an incredibly close set as Slingshot rears back in his chair a little bit, trying to whelm themselves a little bit before going into that uh, into game two. But that was a marathon of a game one that once it, that slowly started to pull in this, uh, in Slingshot's uh, excuse me in Zane's favor once they established themselves in center stage. Slingshot had so much success by doing exactly by doing. Uh, not this, this is where Zane takes the stop. But by putting Zane into the corner and forcing Zane to play out of basically, as I, as I pause right here, basically this side of PS2. Like Zane yeah. could play on that area. Mm -hmm. And it worked out well for them because they were able to set up so much. Zane, uh, the Sunshot wasn't being that aggressive when Zane was in the corner. And it allowed them to keep the percentages even, even though Zane, uh, Sunshot looked like he was in an advantageous position for much of that game. Wow, and honestly, in terms of advantages, look at the way Zane carried themselves. Look at the way that Zane is just... Ah! That's... That's a good duck Yeah, punch we stop. barely was like we got the chatting. <laughs> and whoa, is Zaynos up a stock? Honestly, the way that they did, they did their up airs consistently and then through the banana to continue on into the up air and then just, you know, attacking Slingshot, attacking Diddy when Diddy um, is the weakest, which is off stage, which is when they got that barrels in their back. And oh my God, Zayn is a totally different person right now. This is not who they were in the previous game. Zayn is bad! That's, this is arguably the worst thing that you want to see as a player in a game like this, where it's like, it was so close and you narrowly lose, so you're trying to recreate the same scenario, the same game state as it was in the scenario where you, in the game where you almost won. And things just suddenly derailed so quickly as that up smash almost closing out the stock of the back air as well. But wow. Zane with the coverage, not even eclipsing 30% at this point. Yeah, Zane is just not letting Slingshot breathe. Unlike the other game where they were both suffocating, Zane is getting Slingshot on a chokehold. That was such a clean stock, and it was based on Slingshot. And once again, trying to recreate those game one scenarios, and he's getting absolutely blown up for them. He's getting blown up for trying to do Diddy Kong things and be a good Diddy Kong player. You're not allowed to do that in this matchup. You're not allowed to do that against Zayn. Zayn is just like, nope. Whatever you try to do last game is not gonna fly because in the blink of an eye, just only two minutes into the game, and Zayn has not taken out, has not lost the stock. Once and blown up on their own can as Sunshine looking to try and uh, eclipse this finish off his edge guard. Angel drop into the oh, down oh, air. Oh, oh, doesn't oh. find the down air despite the banana being in the prime position. Once it uh, forced to try and respect that can and allows Zane to get back to ledge. The mm -hmm. situation is repeatable though as Slingshot is still able to take control of stage but prioritizes banana oh, instead wow. and gets punished. Yeah, it's rough. It's a, it's a rough oh, life oh, out oh, here. Oh, oh. Yeah, again, yeah, I mean, over, what over, is over. there for um, Zane's just doing whatever Zane wants to do? And you know what? There you go. At least you got the stock. Now, will Zane actually let Slingshot do things? Because, you know, for two stocks, Slingshot was just getting tossed around. This is like how to play Duck Hunt and what combos that can follow up of one another. Just because Zane is just constantly hammering on Slingshot. Zane staying mobile on the ground, like covering center stage, but then retreating from one side to the other. Like, this needs to be a huge... I, ooh, okay, that, it could have been big. It could have been big. But you know, a short hop instead of full hop, and both also on stage as well. Not going for the up air that time with Zane, instead of looking for a, the improper DI. Oh, but this damage is starting to rack up a yeah. little bit. Zane getting a couple bad trades. Have okay. to watch out for the can. The game really um, was for Zane's game, but now slowly we're seeing it shift over to Slingshot by just 
them pushing Zayn off stage, not gotta, letting them go. And you gotta wonder, is, is it too little, too late at this point? Because Zayn can trade for this and a whole nother stock with this can. A frame one spawning option. Slingshot has to pick their spots immaculately, uh, and it does not do so in a game that was just one at the outset. And despite a good showing from Slingshot at the very end, it just kind of got overwhelmed. Absolutely. Slingshot really held on to his last breath, really did his best. And honestly, it was looking close, but that okay. can. That's rough. The can, can did it. It can do it. It <laughs> certainly can. And as Zane showed off that they can edge guard most immaculately with uh, so much coverage with these lingering aerials. And I, lo I love this scenario in specific as I finish off. Uh, th as this game goes finished off, it forces, as we, we're sitting in a position where uh, Zane just landed a back air. I'm going to reset this and play it slow. The slingshot is constantly in a spot where he's playing the corner and he wants to overexert themselves. Sees the banana on shield, sees the lingering pressure. You can go in, you can find a punish, you can do that. And Zane punishes them for exactly what they thought and exactly what was successful so many times. Just. You're going to try and jump in. You're going to try and linger in my space in this corner, that in this tank that Zane has set up so effectively. Not today. Absolutely. Really good play on both Zane and Slingshot. Definitely a game to watch. Definitely an interesting game. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was interesting how it unfolded. But And I loved how Slingshot was really doing a lot of really strong counterplay mm -hmm. in game one. But you're not just, you don't just have to go in and prepping for the matchup, which is naturally not a very good one, but you also have to prep for the player. And that's what makes those really difficult matchups so much harder at a high level. Because you got to think about not only what Duck Hunt can do, but not only what, but also what Zane can do. Mm -hmm. And they can do a lot. Absolutely. And you know what? Wait, if you close your eyes really fast, UBL is going to turn into a different caster. <laughs> and with yeah. that being said, we're going to do a caster swap. See you guys in a bit.